morning reveals we are on the banks of the seasonal Modo River, the boundary of Isiolo and Garissa counties. Modogashe means well of Gashe in Borana. We are heading to Wajir and have to go through Isiolo County, but first we have to cross the river. Trying to put a number to how much water is passing here, unezata lipuka kichwa. But the town itself hakuna maji. In fact, hatu kuoga kwa sababu wakua na maji ya kutosha. Ama walikuataka tukuje kuoga hapa. There's definitely a problem of water. Lakini ndio haya maji. Ndio haya maji kumenyesha. And uh, I wish there was like a, a way to tap into this water. Nasikia wengi wanaenda na hii maji. Eh. Siende. Pro imekata. Imekata? Imekata. Hapa na ugopa. Ama? Hmm? Tutumie hii. Tutumie hii. Ah. Haya basi anzisha hiyo. Wacha nijipange. Obviously you, we can't we can't cross here. And I'm and this is the old road. So you can imagine uh, whenever this lager was full of water, business couldn't transact normally. Bridges like this one are few in northeastern. In fact, after the Garissa one, I can't think of any other. During the wet season, the Modo River can flow continuously for days, disrupting trade and travel and putting lives at risk. A lot of lives and property have been lost as people attempt to make such dangerous crossings. Today, it is no longer a matter of life and death to cross the Modo River. Transport and communication have been sorted, but there's still a water problem. The town has no running water, and even with an overflowing river, the residents still have to fetch water at the Modo. But the water is mixed with soil and sun. How can they use it? The residents here have an ingenious way of getting clean water. They dig near the banks and place containers in the sand. From here, they can scoop clear water that has been filtered by the sand. I never had thought, but there's a lot of, there's method and there's science to this. Fascinating. There's enough water for everyone as long as Ukona BD. You can roll the jerry can or carry it on a donkey cart. However, it wasn't this easy a month ago. We take water for granted. Hapa, Modogashe, it hasn't rained for close to four years. Now, let, think about that. Some of these kids were for three years, four years, meaning that this month was the first time they ever saw rain. And we have been explained to that it was, it was a bit traumatic for them. When was the last time you went swimming? This young boy over here was four years ago. Four years ago. You can walk to the swimming pool any day, sometimes any time. You have swimming pools in your compound, your block, your home. Kulazma wangoje. Farhat bagdare na farhat zaide. Uli man kasi o bisha son ebelat. An horok horok ana ganu mubur ena tuk ba horok biya kaya. Biya wa hangu horok na shilit malira. O taon kilometer yuthi magana yangu horok na ena tuk kana. Ar horok yadat kuwina kudi. 
أنا هرس أنا أنت ما أدري سيدي أنا معناها أول أنا كنا قبل فرع سام فرع أنا قلي أو كسمة كوهيري كوا كيسومالي أنت سمة أجا كوهيري سوبر سوبر أما سوبرجل 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 آه آه سوبرجل إن شاء الله إن شاء الله It is time to move to our next destination Habasway This should be easy Seeing as it is only 50 kilometers from Odogashi, right? The main highway to Habaswain has been cut off by the Wasonyiro River at Skanska. That leaves only one option. We have to use the Abakore route. It means going back towards Garissa, turning at Malim, then Shata Abak. The distance has increased four times from 50 to 200 kilometers. Mm -hmm. 